Hey, what's up everybody? Brent for Brent Speed. As always, thanks for watching Brent Speed TV today. It's the new, it's the revised. Hey, not necessarily new, but it's revised Roush. Phase two supercharger kit. I can't wait to show you. It's for the 18 and newer Mustangs. 750 horsepower, three year, 36,000 mile warranty for free. 50 state legal. We're gonna make a dyno pull. I wanna show you more on this kit. I wanna explain to you what's been changed on it. And while I'm really excited from the data I found out driving this car. So let's get started. All right, so here's what we have. I kept saying revise, all right? So the new phase two kit, and even if you buy a phase one right now, the heat exchanger is 40% larger than it was prior. So Roush has stepped up and upgraded the intercooling system on this kit, as well as some new calibrations. So right now you buy a phase two kit, 750 horsepower, you get the big heat exchanger, same thing if you buy a phase one. If you have a phase one already, and you want to step up to this, that's totally available for you. There's some pros here. So you got the 40% larger heat exchanger. Right out of the box, for those of you who bought a new car, three year, 36,000 mile warranty through Roush. So something about that, this is this not a third party. This is a Roush backed warranty. And they're gonna try really, really hard if you need it to get you taken care of, which can happen through any Ford dealership or even someone like us that's authorized to do that. Let's take a little closer look here. I've dug with me. It's a TVS, 2650 supercharger, 50 state legal. It's a complete kit. Of course, like I said, intercooled. You get a new air induction system, larger fuel injectors, and the calibration on this is much different than it was over the last couple of years. So if you already have one of these, or maybe you, you read about these, I used to have one of these online. It's not the same kit anymore. It's the same supercharger, but entirely new cooling, new calibration. They even put something cool in there, I'll show you in a minute, where if you're out racing, you can hit a couple buttons inside the car, turn the car off, your fan will keep running to draw all the hot air. It's made from the engine, out of the engine compartment when you're sitting in the staging lanes. They're really trying hard to do everything with this 12-1 compression coyote engine that makes really good power to keep it safe and reliable. So before we make the dyno pull, let's go over and take a look at the upgraded heat exchanger. I'll show you what they used to look like and what they look like now. All right, I guess I keep saying heat exchanger, maybe some of you don't know what it is, but essentially it's like the radiator for your supercharger. So your supercharger coolant doesn't run through your engine radiator, it runs through this. This is the old style right here. It's so much smaller than what they give you now. So what we really needed on these kits is we needed improved cooling, and that's what they stepped up and done. You can just look at this and see how much wider it is. It even has a little bit more surface area, but the thickness is huge. Like I said, it's at least 40% more capacity than the old one. I went out and did, I think like a 20 minute drive on this car, logging intake temps. I was really happy with what I saw. And then we'll be logging the dyno pulls as well. I'll tell you about that here in just a minute. But that's what heat exchanger is. I just want to show you if you have the old one, you can totally get the new one. If you buy a phase two or phase one kit right now, this is what you're going to get. It'll be black. It won't be like this right here, but it'll look just like this one from a color standpoint, but awesome. That's what we needed to see. So let's make that dyno pull. All right, before I hop out of the car, and we look at the graphs, we we'll talk about the intake temps, things like that. I wanna show you a cool feature they've added. So you hold your foot on the brake with the car running. You can hold the set plus button for about five seconds. That's so all you gotta do. Hold that and shut the car off. When you release that button, the fans turn on. So walk up here, Doug. I'm sure you can probably hear it, but imagine being in the staging lanes 
We had a track. We just want to draw some of the heat out of the engine compartment. That will run for about three minutes. All right, so it's, I've timed it a couple times. It's right around three minutes, maybe to stay here longer. Those fans will stay on, draw the heat out, and then it'll turn off. So you don't have to worry about your battery dying. You can walk away. You don't have to worry about going in and shutting the key off or anything because it's already off. So I'm going to show you that real quick. Now let's go look at those dyno numbers. All right, so I log boost. We're looking at about 11, 12 PSI on the Phase 2 kit. Let's look at the intake temps first. We're going to look at the dyno numbers. I want to do a comparison of this graph versus a similar other brand supercharger. But first, Doug, if you don't mind coming down here, if you guys can see it. I did four pulls in a four and a half minute period. Max IATs hit 125 degrees Fahrenheit, averaging about 94. So that's right what I wanted to see. So we're in a dyno cell. We don't have the massive air coming over that you have coming over when you're driving down the road. So I'm totally happy with 125. Yeah, we have a fan in front of the car. It's not the same amount of air like going down the road, but look at the numbers. So I went to 7,000. I'll explain why I did that in a minute. 660 real horsepower at 7,000 RPM. Torque came in at 576. That number right there on a kit like this with a warranty is super impressive. Because as you'll see in just a minute, I'll bring up another graph, but that's quite a bit higher than some other kits on the market. So why 7,000 RPM? I make a lot of other videos where we go up to maybe 76, 7,700. Those particular kits allow the RPM range to go that high, all right? But those don't come with a straight up three or 36 warranty like this kit does right here. So you have a new Mustang, you want some awesome torque, you want really good real horsepower, and you wanna keep the warranty, this is an awesome kit for you to look at. So Doug, let's bring up another graph. So this is a similar kit from another company. It would be called what they call their stage two. It comes with a big 132 millimeter throttle body, intercooled just like this kit right here. That one made 683 rear wheel horsepower, but look, it went all the way up to 7,600. If you look at the graphs, red graph being the Roush kit, blue graph being the other brand, the Roush kit is really shining through the entire RPM range. All the way till 7,000 where it cuts off, where the other kit rear wheel horse looks higher, that's just because the RPM range extended. Torque, again, torque, we're looking at 40, 50 rear wheel torque the entire RPM range. I'm really impressed about that. So with this new calibration, this redesigned kit, I was a little curious where they were gonna come in on torque. And torque's what makes the car fast, what makes it get up and go. 576, pull after pull. To me, that's awesome, because we see a lot of 530. Hell, even GT350s with a supercharger typically comes in five to 530 rear wheel torque. So that's awesome, retaining a warranty, and it's 50 state legal. So I really just want to tell you a little bit more about the new redesigned Phase 2 Supercharger Kit. I'm really pumped about it. Next step for me with this car, Doug, let's take one more look. I want to get out to the track. So we need tracks to open up. When the tracks open up, I'll put on some sticky tires. Probably take George with me. He loves beating on a manual transmission car. He'll rip this thing down the track and it'll be pretty awesome. And we can see if that kind of power that we just saw right there with the warranty performs on the track as well. So leave a comment if you have questions, you email quote at brentspeed.com. Hey, what's this cost to get installed? And as always, you can check out brentspeed.com and please subscribe and notify. I try to make you guys lots of cool videos. I was really excited to make this one right here because I knew this kit had been redesigned. I've just been waiting to get my hands on it. And I'm impressed with everything I saw from all the data logging on the street the data logging on the dyno, and the way the numbers came out. So, again, subscribe, notify. Thank you so much for watching. Leave that comment. I'll answer. Have a good day.